not pleased with it. I, I still be annoyed by my Italian pronunciation. <laughs> okay. Tina is joining as well. Um, super. Okay, so good afternoon to everybody. How is everybody? Shall I get a good um, voice from somebody? Yeah, I see a thumb. Is everybody fine? Still half smile? <laughs> are you already stressed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have the impression that we are already on the... <laughs> The finish point is almost there uh, at the horizon, so it's, uh, it's normal that there is a bit of stress. So let me try to share the screen. Um, uh, so I have still a um, few admissions and I'm trying to see if I'm doing something wrong. Um, so I wanted to show again where you can find all the information. So we have tried to share everything by email too, just to be sure that we we manage to um, to reach everybody um, properly with all the information. And thanks a lot for whom has been uh, pointing here and there a few conflicting uh, notions. Uh, Jan has been very... Uh, very precise, so sometimes there were some typo mistakes. I think now we are completely um, yeah, clean with all the documents, so thanks a lot. It will be a lot of um, spared work for next year, for the next batch of MTN. Um, I wanted to let you see, but I guess everybody knows where to find the information. So we have been adapting a little bit the page on the Moodle where there was the thesis seminars information, so now it's thesis and defense. And I wish you very much to go through all the documents um, uploaded here in this tile, instructions and documents. Um, it's a very important tile. This is a little bit our Bible at the moment. And there is, of course, a next door tile, which is the thesis disclaimer. You have seen that everybody has to sign this disclaimer. I can keep track of who has done it already. Uh, you have time, of course, till the submission. It's a disclaimer where you um, confirm that the thesis work is your own thesis uh, work. I mean, that you are not having a collaboration with, I don't know, many colleagues in the field. And so it was a little bit the same point we wanted to keep um, once that we started to think about the authorship on the first page of the thesis. We said, okay, we maybe mislead um, the jury members. We have understood that you, you will have four uh, members in the jury. So we wanted to be sure that who is not very much acquainted with our um, own rules and regulations at ATM understands very well that the thesis is your, is your own work. So for that, we came back on the consideration of having only your name um, on the first page of the manuscript. Nevertheless, you will do the exercise, the real one, once that you will submit, um, once that everything is finished, we'll get even the comments from the jury members. I'm sure that everybody will proceed, of course, with the submission. So the, um, let's say the teaching around authorships uh, and roles, it's very much uh, solid and it's very much confirmed once that you will submit it in reality to a journal, but for this, uh, appointment now for the thesis, please just keep your own name there. Just let me know if I click on the tile, do you see all the uploaded documents, right? Do you see a pop-up window showing up now? Yes. So, thanks. So, there is instructions for students and supervisors. We have been sharing this document with all the supervisors and with you, of course. Um, and this is a little bit where you have to go through. Uh, moreover, yeah, for the deadline appointment, because there is a little bit more explanation about the five documents you have to upload. So um, I have seen already Nini uh, raising the question on the forum, and I'm sure that everybody reads through those messages um, in the forum. I keep a little bit an eye on the points of the labeling of those documents. Because so um, Jasmine, who is in the call, I'm, I'm sure that she has joined, she will have to keep track of all the submissions and moreover, she has to prepare all the documents for uh, the jury board. 
So all the members will receive the documents in a kind of yeah, folder. So it's important that she can go even quick and fast because there are two days, so 23rd and 24th. And we will need all the documents well arranged before to be handled to the jury members. But at the same time, I wish to um, let you know that, of course, 23, 24, we have a very tight schedule. So it will be a bit of um, stress as well for Jasmine to keep everything under control because she will have to be yeah, sure that all the folders are prepared and that we have enough time because the deadline for submission is on the 8th of August. So she has time to prepare and to handle all the material to the jury members. But of course, we will need to uh, receive from the two readers already the scores for the manuscript, for the format of the manuscript and the content of the manuscript. And the same day, we will have to collect all the scores for your own presentation. So it's a bit an artwork that she will have to keep um, on, uh, on 23rd and 24th. And hopefully, I hope that everybody will, will have good points so that we don't have to enter the, the discussion of the um, the discussion of the points because we have understood that there is as well a deliberation moment for us. I mean, if there would be any kind of problem, we will have to afford the discussion in the morning of the 25th. And finally, we have the proclamation uh, at lunchtime on the 25th. So all those elements are described in the instructions for students and supervisors, and as well, some of those as well in the guidelines uh, for the examination board. So there are lengthy documents, but if you want to be really well acquainted with all the procedure, you can space um, between the documents here on this tile. So you have seen I have uploaded the version two of the plus one manuscript. Um, I, I was a little bit disappointed once that I have understood that the downloading what PLOS One offers on the uh, website for yeah, the guidelines for authors. I have understood that in reality it's a screenshot and it's a PDF format. So it has taken a bit of time of efforts to make out a kind of yeah, layout now, which is a Word uh, document. So I hope that everybody now is comfortable with it. Um, I, I did not understand if it was my computer crashing, but anyway, it has been a bit laborious to, to generate the manuscript layout, but now it's there. So uh, Jan had a couple of questions about the indentation um, after the paragraphs. You should have all the dimension now and the spacing well established on this layout, which is uploaded there, version two. And the version two is because so the first page has only one name now. And afterwards, you will see that there are a couple of grids. Um, those ones are not for you in reality, are for the yeah, members of the jury. Um, but I wanted you, we wanted you to, to know how will be assessed and the manuscript and the oral presentation. So once that you are a little bit further with your drafted manuscript, please go through those grids because you will you will see which elements those jury members will have to look at for the written document, two of them, because there are two readers, and for, let's say, the oral presentation. But for the oral presentation, we have said as well that we will have some kind of mocks, some moments together. So we will try to uh, pin, uh, pinpoint those specific elements as well once that we will have the mock and that will be the week of the 16th of August. So thesis defend slide instructions. Um, many of you have been going through and research methodology and uh, the thesis seminars, all of you, and the SCRAM, the majority of you. So we have been doing this exercise of preparing slides many times. Um, you will see that there is not really, um, uh, let's say, preferential number of slides. There is not really a commitment to necessarily be in 10 slides or 11 slides but you will have the time. Eh? So you have only 15 minutes to present your thesis. So with the same kind of exercise we did in the past, 
please be sure that you stay your time because you remember that once we had the, the thesis seminars some of the members were a little bit uh, annoyed even with an over uh, uh, time of yeah few seconds they were saying oh, yeah okay but this student did not stay in the time so uh, make rehearsal i see a message that my connection is unstable i hope that i'm not okay okay the thesis disclaimer you have seen where to sign it it's an automatically uh, signature so you have to tick a box but please go through and i really do believe that everything is your own work but yeah you understand of course that you will be assessed for a percentage of your uh, master program on the manuscript so please do your own <laughs> contribution to in in the sense that this has to be really your own um, delivery and afterwards, uh, I'm sorry for Jan. Jan had a very nice template, as usual. For for the, the Jan has always very nice layouts. But so the short curriculum, we have to stick to what has been prepared, and that because all those documents they will have to be revised at a certain point. So we will have to collect everything, and everything goes through a revision by an external. Um, another external um, jury but not for your own uh, let's say examination but for our examination of the master program so you have a layout there a table where you have to follow the instructions so we don't want a full curriculum data but you can follow the indications there and you will see that there are two tables the second one is on your study plans and you don't know, of course, but Jasmine is preparing the study plans as well for other documents as for the supplement for the master program. And the errata page, it's something we wanted to have anyway. Um, so it, it happens that you maybe you submit your manuscript and you realize that there is a typo mistake. And so we don't want to have the spelling corrected. I mean, if yeah, acknowledgement is written wrongly uh, and yeah, for any reason, the grammatical control was not working properly. I mean, it's not the data page is not really for the type on on one specific word. It's more on yeah results or more elements which are really very very important for the interpretation. So imagine that you you would prepare your slides, and afterwards you realize that on a table you have been using a factor ten. Uh, instead of factor 100 i mean and this is a very important notion that you you have to correct so please prepare it um, and organize this errata page and we will handle it to the uh, jury members once that they are um, listening to your presentation so you see that as well for the errata page there is a deadline so we will need to have it a bit in advance because just mean need to prepare this errata page to be handled to the commission are there questions still now? Um, yes, Maria. So, Ms. Kavika, yes. so for the errata page, does it mean we have to do it, or it is only when you notice that no. you made a grave, like um, you have to correct something only, um, that is very uh, like major, right? Major, major, and only okay. in case of necessity, almost at the end of your life. I mean, really. <laughs> Feeling okay now they won't understand me because this is a huge mistake so it, it, it gives an opportunity to correct something and of course i'm sure that the jury members they will appreciate but i wish to flag as well the fact that there are members who will listen normally to four of you so i i wish to keep as much as possible all the flow of communication clean so it's an opportunity to correct major mistakes Maria, this is the Janis. Janis, yeah. Okay, in the manuscript we are we have three thousand to five thousand words. What does it exclude? I know it excludes the references. What else does it exclude? Because we have tables in our manuscript. Yeah. Yes. So, and the other thing is, uh, the other question is about. Uh, just answer that first, then I'll, uh, I'll get the other question. Sorry, the other question, can you repeat it? Pardon? 
You didn't say, Maria, you have to answer the first one first. Okay, so um, the first point is the narrative. So the words, you have to count only the narrative. So uh, the abstract has a maximum amount of words, and afterwards you start introduction, uh, methods, discussion, results, so uh, and conclusions. This is the body of, um, of the narrative. So the 3,000, 5,000 words are really the narrative. I think that my connection is really unstable, so I'm trying to get outside. And it was already replied to one of uh, the messages as well on the discussion forum. And you will find it as well in the instructions for students and supervisors. Um, is that a good reply, Johannes? Okay, okay, Th thank you, thank you. So uh, my question was about the tables, if uh, the tables, what the contents of the tables will not be included. So they are not included, eh? you, you could have tables which are very lengthy because yeah, necessarily you have big samples and you are looking at many things, it would be unfair if the tables are counted as well in the words of the narrative. So it's really the narrative of the manuscript. Okay, thank you. Hello, Maria. Khalil. Khalil, hi. Hi. I just wanted to ask about the study plan. Um, is that the standard study plan we already have? We just upload. So the study plan includes all the courses you have been following. Yeah? So you had IAH and you had short courses. So you had, um, and by the way, there were as well the possibilities to follow some of the course or in normal condition, we would have even had the possibility to follow some other courses outside ITM. So for that, you see that in the table at certain point is mentioned institution. And this year, because of COVID, everybody stayed at ITM. But so it's really to mention all the um, courses that you have been following, starting from IAH, or even if you had, you can even, um, let's say, start from the temporal side. I mean, if you had a previous course in the past, you start with the first course that you had at ITM. So, uh, it makes the count 60 credits. So 15 are the thesis, all the rest has to be in courses. Okay, thank you. Maybe Mika will help a little bit with uh, Nadia for the um, methods two, the biomedical methods two. But yeah, I guess it will be only the period of, um, of the lab. Eh? Maybe some of the students can come back to you Mika, for the lab period, just the indication of the beginning and the end, because as well, of course, for biomedical as for clinical um, colleagues, the count has to be round. It has to be 60 credits. I feel very much at university when we had one or two missing exams by the end, and the pressure, I, I don't manage because I, I did not finish all the exams. In reality, we know that everybody is clean uh, with the credits. Otherwise, you, you cannot defend your thesis. Maria, there are some questions in the chat as well. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if you can open. see it. Yeah, I'm opening the chat. I think that I have too many things open as usual on this computer. So I close a moment this one. Um, stop sharing a moment. So, um, um, yeah, no tables, no figures, no abstract, no reference, no log, no perfect. Um, um, yeah, so the, this thing of the brackets, um, yeah, so I understand that from time to time, even using one of those reference management systems, you have to handle a little bit manually. Now, it's not a big mistake, eh? the round um, brackets instead of squared brackets, but if you manage to change it, please do it so. Sometimes we have, yeah, we have members who are a little bit more precise, so, and they read in blocks of four students, they could notice the difference. So it would be, if you manage to standardize as it is required by the PLOS manuscript requirements, so with those square brackets, please do so. Are there other questions uh, for? Yeah, just maybe a comment because 
if you do that manually, you will have to uh, take out the, the, the codes eh, of the reference. Mm. If not, it will automatically uh, change back to the formal. So you have to really do it in the very last moment and then save it as a PDF. Huh? Ah, Karifa has found a solution. You can edit the bracket in Mendeley, he says. So now everybody will go back to Kuruma. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so the, yeah, I, I Kuruma, think, go ahead. I think that wasn't my yeah, question, maybe. actually. Yeah, maybe, maybe if I, I can, can clarify the question, because in Mendeley, you have the Vancouver brackets which gives you the square brackets that um, uh, it shows. But when you are building your reference list at the end, in the, um, the guideline manuscript, it gives you like one point, not in brackets. But Mendeley, when Mendeley does it for you, it also does it in the square brackets instead of the one point that it, it shows on the, on the outline. So for that, do we have, we, can we leave it like that or we can change, like we have to change that manually? That's actually my question. And just a question to the both of you, uh, Karif and, and Elizabeth, should we organize once, um, should we show how to do it maybe? Mm -hmm. Karifa is something that we could um, foresee? Yes, uh, it is possible to edit to any type of reference, even if we are, putting it in sparse script or you can do it, uh, you can edit in Mendeley and it become an additional reference type in Mendeley for you. What Tabitha is saying, maybe it is something that was added in her Mendeley. So the Vancouver bracket is not always shown in every Mendeley. You can see it in your own, but for me, it is not there. And for another person, it won't be there. So. For my own, I created this type of references. So that is possible to do. And uh, the other way of removing in the bi bibliography can also do it automatically without doing, because the things doing it manually, you may lose okay. some automatic uh, yeah. synchronizing with Mendeley, yeah. so yeah. lose uh, some references. But when you read it, when Mendeley does it, then you are safe with all this thing. Shall we explore it with uh, Karifa? Um, and if we have different versions of Mendeley, we, we can we start to arrange ourselves differently? It's a question for everybody, because I'm not sure. I have understood that the majority of you um, is at good point with manuscripts, but I'm thinking always to, yeah, to the ones who are a little bit lagging behind. And of course, I can imagine that priorities are different now than only brackets. Uh, so I want to be sure that I'm not stressing or overstressing. Um... Maria, if I may say something regarding the question of Tabitha, is uh, actually you are able to put the square bracket in the text, but at the end, when you insert the bibliography, Mendeley, I don't know for some people, but for me as well, he inserted with square brackets at the end of the bibliography. So what I did is that I just went to numbered format and then I changed. It was not so square bracket, but it was um, numbers, but it was still the same reference without changing the, 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 the references in the text. So it's at the bibliography uh, page that I think she, she, she's, it's what she's asking, but we can mm -hmm. as well organize um, a session and then we clarify um, all the... Mm -hmm. Misunderstanding, yeah. Shall we do it so? Um, um, we can do it maybe. I think it's a good idea. Not everybody has to be uh, there, but those who are using Mendeley and have issues could maybe join that session. Huh? So let's uh, let's fix a moment. I will try already this week. Uh, no, not even, I, I mean, it has to be early, even tomorrow, something like that, sorry for sure it has to be this week. Um, so we'll send a message later to understand who, um, who needs it. Um, and we will do it, I think, tomorrow in the afternoon, something, um, yeah, very, very short. Is that okay? I hope so. Jahan has his hand raised, Maria. Yeah, Jahan? 
Uh, yes, uh, it might be too much to ask, but I thought maybe I asked anyways, because it was so nice when we had the poster session that we could send it to you or Mika to just check if we follow the general requirements or if we made some grave mistakes. And maybe some of us would be more comfortable for submission. If we can send you our manuscript and you say, overall, it looks okay like this, or you should adjust the yeah. title or... Like this. We can do it. Eh? I mean, we, we can generate. So you have already one space where you can upload um, the manuscript for the anti plagiarism check. By the way, how is it going there with the anti plagiarism? I uploaded mine, but um, I'm still waiting for, for the report. And Umur is pending because we can contact Niels. Um, mm -hmm. to to the yeah. Opened. I also uploaded mine, but I only saw the percentage as 15%. When I downloaded it, it doesn't give me like where the problem was. Okay. It just shows 15% and that was it. And other people with the anti plagiarism check? We're just checking because there were some issues with the Urkund software lately. So that's why we need to know and then we can ask Niels to contact the yeah. company and... But Niels is out of office this week. Oh, Eve uh, maybe? I don't know. Eve? Yeah, well, maybe anyway, somebody someone else. from yeah, IT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because Eve is the one who did contact them already with the young yeah. uh, situation. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And he said that he would have um, contacted directly the company. Um, We'll check in any case, Maria, but it saved and sorry. So he said himself that he had to try several times and he managed to export mm -hmm. a PDF report. So at least was the one from uh, from Jan. But so we will uh, contact somebody from IT or we will ask yeah. Carlos. And so for the moment, it's only Johan and Jan, sorry, and, uh, um, and Elizabeth. But we will check. So let's do like that. We can uh, we can start the submission, and we can send the manuscript on the um, on the uploading of the um, Urkund, and we can check already the manuscript if the layout fits what in reality are the requirements of the plus layout. So as soon as you're ready, just start to submit, and myself and Mika will uh, will start the screening, the very informal one. Eh? Maria, can I ask a question? Sure. About the um, the acknowledgements and the fact that there is only one author now. Yeah. So I see in my students some use put and then put the names of the promoters in the acknowledgements. Is that is that okay? Because I think we need to do all in the same way. Not that some does it and others don't. So if we agree that the author is the student. And then in the acknowledgement, we can put the names of the supervisors. I think that then we are all working in the same manner. I think that it's fair like yes. that. Yes, yes. Okay, fair in the acknowledgement. Sorry that yeah, we could not really make the full exercise. In, but mm. yeah, you have understood um, a bit the sensitivity of yeah, having multiple names on the front, on the cover of the manuscript. And so we, we try to be fair as much as possible. Yeah. Maria, so, maybe yeah, yes. to build on to build on that. For example, for those having their thesis like uh, uh, built on a project where yeah. it was financed by uh, let's say an institution, uh, can we put that in the acknowledgement? I think so. Yes. yes. I think so. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Other questions? Shall yes, we go? Maria. Ah, oh, yeah, um, Christel, sorry. Please, do we, uh, can we already um, know uh, the jury members? Yeah, I was about to early. say, it. I was oh, about sorry. to say, shall we go to the list? <laughs> shall we disclose who will be there? And <laughs> yeah, um, you, you still have a question? Uh, yeah, just a quick question about the thesis defense. I read that um, we can be asked questions about 
our topic and everything in connected with it through the whole year, the whole masters. Like uh, just to hear again, what are we supposed to know? For example, if we did, <laughs> but in my case, I should have some broader DRTB knowledge, I guess. Um, but just to get a better understanding what is meant by this. I, well, I think we, we will have to talk to the jury as well, eh? but it's important that they well, you, you are not doing a thesis on DRTB only, you are doing, you are getting a master's in tropical medicine. Huh? And so what is important is, for instance, a jury member could ask, okay, you have worked, you have done this now for DRTB, how would you translate this now, for instance, to the management or the control of HIV or the control of malaria? Would it, would it be different or not? So those kind of general questions on other diseases might come up. Uh, other possibilities is that they will ask you some methodological questions that are maybe not in your thesis, but that they would say, okay, if you now would do this study in another environment in a prospective way, what would, which method would you use, for instance? Uh, these things can, they can ask. Okay, that's interesting because in the instructions it said uh, related to the thesis topic. So what do you think is a good way to prepare ourselves then for... You, you have to know very well your topic, and that's the main thing that they will discuss. But it can be that there is an, an, an unrelated question on another disease, so don't be surprised if they do that. With your master's in tropical medicine, the general questions on tropical medicine, you will be able to answer them. Okay, thank you. Okay, I share the screen. Eh? So like that now everybody will know when is, uh, is planned. <laughs> so Maria, there is another question from yeah. uh, Huawei and Johannes, which percentage of plagiarism is okay? It's not really the percentage that we look at, it's the report. So it's a very funny system. You have really to interpret it. So for that, we need really somebody getting the report more than the percentage. Because, yeah, you would see if it's even 30%, but it's a, a full paragraph, for example, which has been copy paste and not with the right quote. I mean, that it's not quoted. Yeah, that is suspicious. Eh? So it will, um, it will look as yourself writing something which is supposed to be quoted and to be um, under a reference. And even if when, I mean, we normally suggest to change, of course, wording. Eh? So if you have to quote uh, another author, that you put a summary of what was supposed to be said by the author, but that you don't do the copy paste. Normally, a, a rule of thumb is about 10%. Everything above 10% can be suspicious. But as Maria says, you have to check because it depends on the settings of the software, how strict it will check. And sometimes they like fixed titles. If everybody will upload his thesis, then they, it will save it's all the titles that are like compulsory. It will indicate it as plagiarized. So we have to check manually, mainly the bodies. And as Maria said, if there's really big paragraphs or whole sentences copied, that's an issue. The score itself, the percentage itself doesn't always say something, but the indication is about 10%. Mm -hmm. Marta, are you there? I'm here, Maria. Yes, you see now we're on the screen. My, my connection is not stable, but I'm here. No, no, I'm sorry. But so uh, if you, you have the screen on, you will see that you will be the first one. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm using the iPhone. <laughs> yes, I've seen that you have entered with your iPhone. But so, yeah. so this has been, again, a very difficult uh, touching exercise. And it's not complete because we had a cancellation right this morning. Um, so we are still to complete the jury members for the day 24th, uh, just in the morning. So you see that in reality, everybody has 15 minutes allocated. You have 15 minutes presentation and 35 minutes for the questions. And afterwards, it's up to us to handle everything and to finish everything in some additional minutes. I, I really, um, we will be very steep with the time, but you understand that in reality, to be sure that we have the right sequence and that everybody has the right time allocated, we will have to be very strict with the timing. So please rehearse and stay in your 15 minutes. 
So um, you see that there are several columns here. There is an external reader, an internal reader, external board member, internal board member. And if we have been going through uh, all the documents, you, you know why we do give this kind of definition. External reader is um, somebody, a colleague from outside ITM who will read your manuscript. Internal one is a colleague from ITM who will read your manuscript. And afterwards, the remaining part, so you will have every time four jury members, the remaining will assess you on the presentation and on the way that you explain and you reply to the questions. So for every block, there is a chair of the session. So you see that normally it's an internal an ITM person chair. Myself and Mika will be there. I think Jean-Claude and Lutu will show, but yeah, we will be very sure that, yeah, the, the, that all the different blocks are uh, well uh, kept and moreover that everybody will be assessed in a fair manner. I'm going a little bit down on this screenshot to show that the last one will be uh, Karifa. So uh, I don't know now if Marta will be very much upset and Karifa will be very happy. Anyway, everybody will have the 50 minutes. Only on the day two, we will end a bit late. So we, we were not really paired uh, properly. So to allocate the right timing, we did prefer to go the second day um, with the last person. But so the balance has been always internal uh, jury members, external jury members. There are two readers and two um, board members assisting your presentation and assessing you on the way that you reply to the questions. Are there questions there? We can start to share this one now. And maybe, I don't know if you want the version with all the jury members, so waiting the, the filling in of the last um, yeah, two colleagues here, or one colleague normally should be, or if you wish just to have, so there is another version where we have only the names and the, the right timing for everybody you to be uh, familiar with it, eh? which was shared already with student service because we, we wanted to be sure that the travel back was not really um, yeah, um, complicated by the presentation of your thesis. Shall I share the version with the, all the names? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that would be nice. Yep, okay. I did see at a certain point that there were some other questions on, in the chat. Um, yeah, okay, the timetable. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, okay, I will, we will share it. Um, are there specific questions about how it will really run uh, the examination? No questions? No, Ma Maria. Uh, Marta? Sorry. sorry. I, I have a question about the additional uh, slide that we can prepare, uh, but, but not for the presentation, but maybe for the, the discussion. Yeah, we did it when we had the thesis saving. So some of you did prepare a slide, just in case something would have been a slide or two, just in case there would have been any kind of request of more clarifications. And I think that the same it's done for the MPH, but would please confirm so that once there is a specific question, there is a slide which is not shown, which can be um, which can be shared possible. again. Yeah, it's yeah. possible. Yeah. So we can allow it then. Eh? Yeah, Han has a question. Uh, yes, I'm not sure if I read it right, but in the instruction document, it said if between the panel members there's scoring, uh, if there's a big discrepancy, there will be a second defense a few days later. No, it's, cool. no. <laughs> no it's not really like that. So the first point is this discrepancy in the assessment. So if there are points which are um, above a factor three, we will have to discuss. So we need those 10 minutes at the end of each presentation to be sure that we, we have an harmonized assessment in between um, all the jury members. So this is the first moment. Afterwards, the day after, so the deliberation day, it's once that you have not reached the passing score. So 
uh, everything is assessed on the points of 20. So we know already that for the thesis seminars, everybody has passed the thesis seminar. So we did not have any pending from the past because even the scores of the thesis seminars, of course, is taken into account. We are sure that the 75% of the weight of the final calculation is already true because all of you did pass all the courses. So you have uh, all points above the average. Eh? So already the 75% it's well scored. So it's just for the manuscript, the 10% of the manuscript and the 15%, which is the calculation of your presentation. Let's imagine that one won't reach the half, so 10 points on 20. We will have to see if you reach the condition of being deliberate, deliberated, and those are academic regulations. So we will have really to look uh, at, uh, yeah, at uh, the scores in a way that we can understand if you can be deliberated or not. Otherwise, it means that you are failing one of the components and necessarily is the thesis component because all the rest has been already achieved. I mean, it's different from the MPH, the Master in Public Health program, where you have all the different course components. Here, we have already all the courses done and all of you have passed those courses. So you may fail only the presentation or you may fail only the manuscript. And if that is the case, we have to see if you um, meet the, uh, let's say, the conditions to be deliberated. So if there is just a short discrepancy, you can be deliberated. So it means that you are still, um, yeah, this small missing point can be covered, can be yeah, allowed, and you get to the 10 points over 20. But if that not, is not the case, I mean, you have the right to, to have a receipt. So you will have to defend again your thesis. I hope it's not the case, honestly. If I think about how we, we start, knowing that already the 75%, it's, uh, yeah, it's already there, it's in, and so that it's only the thesis and the thesis presentation. I don't think that we will have this condition, but yeah, it may happen. Eh? It could, we could have yeah, a situation where we have to really look um, at points and we have to follow the academic regulations to see if we meet the conditions to be deliberated or not. So Lut had a little bit the, the, the concern about the fact that we wanted to have the dinner already on the Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> a bit fatalistic. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, okay, but we celebrate already before to know if everybody has passed. I think that we deserve a celebration anyway. Yeah, yeah, but can you eat before you know? <laughs> <laughs> Maria, I want to come back to the... To the um, question of Jahan, there is another element. Huh? So you have on the one hand, you, you, you pass with a score or you have a reset when you fail or you can be deliberated. That's one point of the question. The other question is if in the jury time that the jury is looking at your thesis, you have a big difference between two ju jury members, then usually what is happening is that they discuss this and the, the, the one who is the chair of the jury has to ask for, okay, can we readjust the points in one way or another so that we agree. Very, very rarely it happens that they are really not agreeing and that they have really discrepant results and that one jury member says, I stick to my points and the other one also says, I stick to my points. It's usually about a written document because there, there are only two. Huh? In that case, the thesis will be read by a third person who then has to assess the student. So just to clarify that there is also this option, but I have only, I am already very old and I've only known this one time. So I think, I think it will happen. Anyway, so just to clarify. I hope really won't be the case. <laughs> Other questions? I'm sorry, Ma Maria, I yep, have a question back to the cover letter that we have to present. Yep. Um, it's not clear to me. 
when uh, is written the type of the article means uh, that you want to understand the type of article that uh, we already publish this is the question so i go back to the um, um i hope that we did put it properly on on the document okay. and i think that we did copy the first four uh, fifth lines from the plus manuscript um, guidelines so um, the first point is summarize the study contribution from to the scientific literature so the what's new eh? uh, relate the study to previously published work it's not that you have to put all i, I mean that you have really to uh, to put references there but you can refer to um, similar works which has been done in the past so say okay but anyway my work is different and specify the type of article, um, for example, if it's a research article or a systematic review of a meta-analysis. For us, we have only two systematic reviews. Eh? For the rest, it's all research articles. And uh, clinical trial is only for the data. Shall I share the, the screen? I hope that it... Uh, so you will have it in the instructions for um, students and supervisors. So you see the five documents here by the deadline. So we say we want to have the thesis manuscript, Word version and PDF version. And the fact that we ask you the PDF is to be sure that once that we will print it out, you agree. Uh, so we prefer that you do it actually, because like that you can really make the tables and the figures in a way that they're readable for the jury members. The abstract, if you put it apart, it's a really work um, spared for just me. And so normally you have some systems where you have to upload anyway the abstract apart. This will be shared with all the jury members. The short curriculum, as I've said, you have the template, uh, including your study plan there. And afterwards, the cover letter. And those are really the lines that uh, the same plus one manuscript uh, guidelines were requiring. Uh, maybe I can add a few words. Yes. Um, I read it up and I think it helps to understand where the cover letter is coming from. It's actually when you want to submit or publish a paper, you write a cover letter to convince the editor why they should publish your paper and what is the added value of it. So it's different than the abstract. It's more you say, oh, there's this gap in the lit literature and uh, we found this and this and we think it's uh, interesting for your readers. I mean, we don't have to add the last thing for our cover letter, but just to, it's not the same as an abstract. It's more like in a few words um, to explain the added value of the study and the gap in the literature. In, uh, in those uh, short videos we have been sharing, the one from the sorted, um, there is a little bit about the cover letters. Eh? If you wish, we could even think to share a few examples. They are not really appropriate. I mean, they are not really the ones from the plus one, but they are similar yeah, examples. Shall we do so? Yes, I think it would be nice to have examples. Yeah, a couple of examples of cover letters. Okay, yeah. Please have a look as well at the labeling, eh? how we wish you to label all those uh, documents. Try to stick as much as possible to those yeah, guidelines like that. Jasmine will uh, we'll be very happy with you. Maria, I, I'm having a hard time understanding what CS and BS mean. Clinical oh, science. Yeah. Clinical science and by what it's It's not <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> if it was not clear at the end of the year, we have two orientations. We have two tracks. <laughs> Do you know in which orientation you are? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I can actually legally be confused because I am between the two. I did okay. a lot of classes on the clinical side and I am from the biomedical side. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're pardoned. <laughs> Maria, I mean, whilst you um, shared the, a copy of the cover letter, just to ask that um, it's a letter form, so whom should we address it to? So do we address it to the jury? So for in this case, Lut wanted you to be to address everything to the jury. Members. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
So I, I will put a specification there. It makes sense that we address ourselves to the jury members. Other questions? No, nobody is asking about the celebrations. <laughs> Come on. Maybe we'll, we'll use the last two minutes to ask about it. It was, it would have been nice to, to eat after you know that you are fat. <laughs> but I mean, um, what Should options do we, we have? Still on time, eh? We are still on time to change everything to the day after. Yes, it would it would be nice to do it the day after when when you have graduated and you have your paper and everybody is in the celebratory mood and so I, nice I like that. I need to have more. Is more in the call? Okay, no, she's not okay. there. No, no. because so I think that the most um, complicated. Yeah, person for the travel back is Mo at the moment. Yeah. So um, the, the, the point is uh, so that everybody should have the right flights and uh, the right timing. I think that we, we have as a um, yeah, more complicated situation at the moment, Mo in mind. Uh, but if you tell me that for you, it's much better to have the day after. So the proclamation will be anyway with a ceremony. It's not very mm -hmm. long. It will start at 12 o'clock and we will end up with a kind of refresher reception. So the reception will be at ITN um, and we want to have a little bit a more inclusive reception where we can invite, where you are allowed to invite somebody else. Um, so we, we are, um, unfortunately, we have to stick to a maximum number of 50 people, but with the reception we could get even in the Aula Janssen but to reception, we could even get to a maximum number of 100 people. Um, Jasmine, correct me if I have interpreted wrongly the, um, we'll say in the middle message, but I think it's like that. Eh? So that we, we will have to have, um, we can have 100 people. The only point is that if it's raining, uh, <clears throat> which is not really, I mean, uh, I'm in Italy at the moment, so, uh, but yeah, Belgium won't give us any guarantee uh, by 25th of August. So if we have to switch to plan B and to stay indoor, uh, we have to split people in between our Janssen and in between forum downstairs. We cannot be all together. So again, it's a little bit of arrangements and complication in uh, logistics, but yeah, we, we would manage anyway. While for the dinner is a bit more complicated because we have we have seen already once that we did get to the MPH dinner, we have tables of eight people maximum. We have to keep distance in between tables and so it's not allowed to dance and things like that. So we will have to be a little bit more contained. And but then we you... close the curtains and then we dance in. <laughs> so it's that the point we have to ask everybody <laughs> to, to go to have a check before to book anything. If there are curtains. Yeah, to check the curtains. <laughs> the curtains. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, because we managed 20 minutes, we had it in, uh, in the MPH. Um, and so, I mean, I think it has been the most liberating 20 minutes of my past months, um, honestly speaking, because yeah, it was really long and long and long that we were waiting for a moment to just to liberate ourselves again. But yeah, we did, we did do it with masks, so we were still safely behaving. But yeah, it was nice to, to have, um, have something together. But so the first point, do you wish to have, I stop sharing this document and I try to see everybody. Shall we have the dinner at the end of everything? So once that everybody is, uh, is, um, is sure of what did happen. For me, I think it makes sense to do the dinner afterwards, as long as um, everybody would be available because if, um, Mo would have a problem being available, then it's better to do it when she's available. Okay, so we leave it a little bit. Um, yeah, I still catch again with Mo and to understand if in reality it's fixed. If it's fixed, so she had to have uh, a combination with a flight to Seoul and afterwards a repatriation flight. So it's a bit of a complicated situation there. If I'm not in the um, yeah in 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 the way of these flights and whatever arrangements. 
we try to have it on the Wednesday once that everything is finished. Who is there is there, who does not want to participate because we wanted to touch as well on some of the jury members, but yeah, I mean, if they are there, they can join the Wednesday anyway. Is that okay? Yeah, no major objection. So I, yeah, we, we start to move the dinner as well to the Wednesday. So we will have a very nice 25th of August. And also food options, just mention it. Uh, food options, I, I mean, once that I will be back from Italy, I don't know anymore which kind of food options we can, <laughs> we can find. We'll be well, Nadia is in charge of the dinner, yeah, right? So the... normally she, she knows already from experience, we have a vegetarian option, a meat eaters option, a non-meat eaters option, a halal, uh, what else do you have? I mean, the whole shebang so we are not excluding anyone uh, there are specific requests Tabitha? yes there are dietary requests let us know that nadia can already ask if there's like allergies or for religious reasons or whatever i mean let us know up front and nadia can check with the restaurant and normally they accommodate us we have no experience that they were difficult i, I think anecdotal evidence suggests that during the mpa session Lots of people went home hungry, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will come back to you to hear a little bit uh, okay. as a student representative. You will uh, give me a little bit of feedback like that we try to arrange um, mm -hmm. in advance. Yeah. Other questions? For whom is at distance, we will uh, try to be sure about connection and all the rest. Uh, we will have the mock as well online. And I think that now we can start even to, um, to adapt the schedule for uh, the mock sessions um, because yeah. Yeah, we, we will fo follow a little bit the same kind of sorry, uh, Maria. That Sorry, Maria, did you say we have the mock online? For whom is online? Eh? So ah, okay. There are a couple of colleagues. No, no. We. I, I still wish to simulate that one of us. But yes, yes. we are at. Yes, that thing yes. that would be. Yeah. I will be. I will play the jury member then. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. We, perfect. we do at a distance. Yeah. Yeah. Because still, we, we will try to simulate as much as possible the, the same conditions as 2020 yes. to 24. Yes. Yeah. Really, very yes. important. So okay. if he's just back from his summer break, he has generated the two links. And I wish to keep those two links as the major links we will work out. So again, we will have a major link from the um, yeah, room north. And so there is already a Zoom link generated there. And we will try to stick as much as possible to the same setting and to the same configuration. Like that, we really make the, the exercise uh, as much as possible close to reality. OK. And who will not be in Belgium for the defense? Who is going to do, do it from a distance? Nini, for sure. Alison. She's from yeah. distance. And Alison from uh, Biomedical. Yes. Is Alison in the call? Yes. Yes, yes, I am here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alison is confirmed. Eh? You will be on the ground. So the next time we meet you, you will have a dinner from, from us. <laughs> yes, with pleasure. Yeah. I'm inviting myself. I don't know who will pay, but I'm inviting myself. <laughs> <laughs> Ruffian cuisine, local cuisine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you have any other question, please post it on, uh, on the discussion forum. Any question is allowed there. Um, yeah, if you discover things on the way, now that you're finalizing your, your manuscript or something still which is not clear and Please go back there and like that. It's a little bit a, a moment of clarification for everybody because I've mm -hmm. seen that, yeah, some unclarities have come up um, a couple of times. So it's um, it's a good exercise for everybody if we follow the queries uh, by the other colleagues. And um, if that's all, I I will stop recording. And.